What's up guys, my name's Rav. If you're new to this channel, welcome, and if you're not new, welcome back. This channel is dedicated to full-time camper van living and me living full-time in this vintage, classic, one-of-a-kind 1982 Dodge camper van. Last time you saw me, I was wearing a California wife beater muscle shirt type thing that showed off my fabulous farmer's tan. Go watch my last video. So you probably think, what am I doing now or where am I at? Well, I'm still in Texas and when I was wearing that wife beater, I was dying of heat. It was probably 94 degrees and it was pretty hot for Texas, very humid. Two days later, I'm in Abilene and it's been raining, a little town called Abilene, Texas, which is a lot bigger than Heiko, but it's still a smaller town, probably 70,000 to 100,000 people. Larger, large enough, not large enough, not largest, large enough that it has a Wells Fargo, which is my bank, but there is a Starbucks behind me and I'm sitting in a Walmart parking lot. Go figure. Back to Heiko, it was super hot there. I get here, it's been raining and freaking cold. I had to turn the furnace on last night because I was freezing. I want to show you guys one thing because I get this question asked to me on Facebook and social media. People asking me how I keep warm or how I heat my camper. Do I have a buddy heater or do I have one of those other ones that is even more expensive, like $240? So I'm going to take one minute, maybe two minutes, and show you guys how I heat my camper van. It's pretty simple, actually. So let me show you this. All right, guys, so I just walk right back here and I kick on this thermostat. I just turn it on, just like you turn a thermostat on your house. And then right down here, we actually have the furnace. Anyway, so that's how I heat my camper van, just like I did my house when I had my house in Joshua Tree. The only thing I have to make sure is I have propane. Uh, my furnace there was electric and it cost a fortune. I had a $300 bill one time in the winter time from running my electric furnace. This is propane, so as long as I have propane, I can cook, I have a stove, four burner stove to cook on, I have an oven, I can make pizzas and stuff in the oven. Um, as long as I have propane, I have a water heater, like a house it's like a six gallon water heater this is a very small camper van it's a little bit larger than a b it is considered a b plus or a c it really is a c camper if you come right down to it but it's not much bigger than a b camper and it looks more like a b camper than i think most c campers but it is a small c camper but it does have a shower uh, furnace and all of the those things which is something you should look at when you're thinking about doing the RV or van life. I watch a lot of other RV van lifers and some of the van lifers, I mean, it looks pretty challenging to me not being able to shower every day or having to find a Planet Fitness and stuff like that. And I don't shower every day, but if I want to shower every day, I have a shower and I could do it. But um, then you run into filling your holding tanks up, using all your water supply, so I try to shower every other day and I shower truck stops and do things like that uh, to be able to save my water. I like to try to stretch my water out as far as I can. But my biggest regret after six months is not doing this way sooner. I will say I've been watching, I've been watching nomads on YouTube probably longer than just about anybody. I have a friend of mine, Randy Prim, that started a channel, a full-time RV channel back in 2008, and he was living in a C-class camper with his cat. He's like 6'11", and he was traveling around and doing YouTube videos before YouTube ads, before Google bought YouTube, and before uh, AdSense. And he was just trying to do it off donations, and he lived a couple of miserable years trying to do it because it never caught on. He was just ahead of his time. That channel is called Road Bandit. To give a shout out to Randy's channel, it's called Road Bandit. It's still on YouTube. You can search for Randy Prim uh, or you can search for Road Bandit and you'll find some of his old videos. And this is a guy that was doing this before Nomadic Fanatic, before Camper Band Kevin, before just about anybody.
This is your conscience speaking. I have turned off the fear and doubt sign. You are free to explore the planet and get everything you want out of life. Oh yeah, one more thing. You ready? Hey there, this is Randy Prim from RoadBandit.com. Now, RoadBandit.com is an interactive website about traveling the country in search of the true American dream. You, the viewers, get to suggest places for me to go and people for me to meet. Simply log on to RoadBandit.com and click on Suggestions. Now, I'm not alone on this journey. Along for the ride is my cat, Bird. She's slowly understanding the internet and she even vlogs from time to time. My goal in all this is to give you a taste of what it's like living in a Class C 24-foot motorhome equipped with solar panel on the roof, an inverter under the bed, and this horn. living in an RV is, it's a house on wheels. You don't like your neighbors, but well, your neighborhood, you can just get on out. Vegas, baby. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna get much sleep here. Let's try somewhere else. All right, how about something like this? Oh yeah, it's nice up here. Well, now it's time to dump my dump. Oh, you guys are lucky this camera doesn't have smell of vision Get out of the way. You there. Breaker Breaker Nine and Road Bandit. What's that? Yes? No? Maybe? Road Bandit. So stay tuned to see if RoadBandit.com will be driving through your neck of the woods. Until next time, off like a herd of turtles. I don't know anybody that was doing it back when he was doing it, but he's the one that put the thought in my head and it took me 10 years, but 10 years later, I finally jumped into it and I wished I would have done it. I really wished I was really searching it out about 2011, 12, and I really wish I would have started it then. But, you know, we all do what we do and I'm, was one of the first to start watching this and I'm late to the game so it's the way it goes but I just want to say I'm gonna be doing more of these talk only YouTube videos so some of you may unsubscribe I don't know um, reason being is I talked to a friend of mine and told him you know I'm only getting like 200 views and I'm doing all this work for these videos and they're just not catching on and my channel's not catching on and he's a very popular YouTuber that is a full-time YouTuber that makes a very good income on YouTube and he told me he goes you're just not doing enough videos at this in this day and age with the new YouTube because a video once a week is not adequate so he goes I need to post more regularly and he goes it doesn't matter what it is he goes you just got to make the content so he goes, he told me you got to throw stuff against the wall. I can't remember what he said I have to throw against the wall. But he told me something's got to be thrown against the wall. If you know what he throws against the wall, comment down there. Because he says it's like throwing a bunch of stuff against the wall. Or throwing this stuff against the wall. The more stuff you throw against the wall, the more apt something is to stick. So he said that's what you got to do with YouTube. You got to put so much stuff out there and something hopefully will stick and people subscribe. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm still going to do my regular videos as well, but you will have some of these just talking videos that I'll try to keep under five minutes. So just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, 
that if I'm in an area and I don't have time to do a longer video and but I do have decent cell service you'll probably end up with a video like this but I'll try to make them educational or a formal or if you have questions I can answer that kind of thing then let me know um, if there's a topic that you want me to discuss let me know um, what I can help you with so anyway I'm gonna get off of here just be a friend and click the like button subscribe hit that little bell one thing I just found out is just because you're subscribed to this channel if you haven't clicked that little bell for notifications YouTube doesn't notify all of your subscribers so that may be why you don't know I'm doing a new video so you got to click that little bell so you get the notification every single time I upload a new video that's gonna do it for this video guys we'll see you next video peace out